Hey, what's up YouTube? So this is going to be a really quick and dirty and brief uh, video on how to get a uh, Lotharec um, floppy emulator installed in a Korg DSS-1. Um, yeah, I finally got mine working and I'm going to make this to help save other people. Um, yeah, some of the pitfalls that uh, in... in difficulties that I encountered along the way although yeah there were a lot of great um you know videos out there but hopefully this will help some people um so yeah let's get started so this is my dss1 and as you can see I have the uh emulator installed already there's other kinds of emulators out there I'm really not sure what the similarities or differences are so I'm just going to focus on the one I've got which is uh uh, made by uh, Lotharek, uh, who's awesome. Um, yeah, so I already got it set up and everything, so I'm not going to go through, um, you know, the entire uh, process. I'm just going to, from the point of view of having it done, show you how I did it. So, um, basically, you know, the first thing that's got to happen is you got to open up the DSS-1, and... Um, so there's basically six screws you gotta take out. One, two. Um, there's a little guy here, three. And then on the same side, on the other side, it's the same, the same order, just mirrored on this side. Three screws over here, okay? So uh, the back is hinged, so don't unscrew the screws that go in the hinges because you don't have to do it so uh yeah also i think what's kind of nice or important is have something that the top is going to lean against so you don't pull out all these uh super important cords um by letting the top swing back too far so um this is the thing that's got to come off uh there's two screws one two um, under here and um, I'm not going to unscrew it but it's pretty straightforward you take this thing off turn it over there's uh, four screws inside here um, that connect the floppy to kind of a metal uh, a metal rack um, pull out the floppy so uh, you know um, I think it's pretty straightforward how the uh, there's you know, the, I think this is the data cable, and then the other one is the, uh, the power. So, you know, the data cable, the red stripe ends up being kind of on the right side, closest to the keys when it goes in. Um, you know, the power one is pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, so, yeah, you get that installed, and uh, then, you know, you close it up. So um, now let's check out the uh, software side, um, how to basically get your um, TSS-1, um, you know, sounds onto your SD card in a way that the floppy emulator can read. So the first thing that's got to happen um, is you got to format the uh, SD card. I'm not going to go into the details, but it should be, I believe, uh, uh, FAT uh, 32, um, 16, uh, 12, I did FAT 32, it's a pretty common format. Um, and then uh, you got to make sure that you have your um, uh, disk images. And uh, let me pull up uh, mine. Okay, so yeah, here's a bunch of images. Um, that I've got. They're pretty easy to find online. Just search for Quirk DSS-1 uh, sounds or disk images. It's this format NDIF disk image. Um, so uh, what you have to do after you formatted your SD card is basically um, you have to prepare the SD card and get these disk images uh, reformatted for your SD card. Uh, so let's get into that. So this is um, uh, the software that we use 
um, to prepare disk images for the SD card and prepare the SD card to be read by the DSS-1. So um, the first thing um, that you gotta do is there's this little like, uh, uh, like config file that basically goes in the SD card. Um, so you click the SDHXC floppy emulator settings thing. Um, and these were the settings. I can't remember if I had, um, you know, changed anything based on what I read online, but you can see what's here. And then you basically hit save config file. It spits out one of these things. Put this in your, uh, the root folder of your SD card. So I've done that already, so I'm not going to do that. And then uh, what you got to do is you have to convert those um, disk images into a format that the uh, DSS-1 can read. So um, you do the, the, the raw image one. So load raw image. Okay. And let's see. Um, predefined disk layout. And you go to, here it is, uh, Korg DSS-1. Okay, there it is. Um, load raw file. And let's see, okay. So pick, uh, I don't know, Korg Analog 5. That sounds like a pretty, pretty banging disk right there. Okay, open that up. Okay. And then export. And so you would basically put this in the root folder of your um, SD card. And you can see that it's saving it as an HFE file, which is basically the, um, the format that the DSS-1 reads, okay? So you basically rename it, whatever, save it that, that in the root folder of the DSS, uh, sorry, of the SD card. And then uh, we're going to go over and get this working. I've popped my um, uh, SD card in here. And um, I think mine already had uh, this one HFE disk loaded. But basically, um, this right button uh, scrolls up through your directory. And the left one scrolls down. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, this Korg analog one, center one, loads. Okay, cool. And then uh, that's loaded right there. Okay, and then we're going to go uh, make sure we're on system. And uh, nine, menu option nine is get multi-sound, enter. Okay, so yep, yeah, it just searched uh, the disk for the different sounds, and I can use... Uh, data entry scroller thing road wave that sounds pretty awesome okay so we're gonna hit enter am I sure I'm pretty sure yes okay so it says loading wait a minute you can see over here it's like I don't know it's doing something maybe it loaded already that's it, it loaded. Okay, cool. I don't have this uh, hooked up to any speakers at the moment. So, we're going to just pop in these headphones. Okay, let's have the phone to the speakers. Okay, awesome. There's a road wave. Uh, let's try another one. Um, let's see, so system, I don't know, I guess we'll just hit no, okay. Loading complete, select one through nine. Let's see, yes, I guess we gotta go back to nine. Multi sound, okay, cool, searching for sounds on disk. Maybe there's a better way to do this, but anyway, we'll just do this for now. And let's go for uh, Shaku, sounds pretty awesome. Okay, am I sure? Yes. Okay. Oh, it does this really cool clicking thing. It's like kind of uh, seeking or, you know, doing something here. Okay, so it stopped. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's hold this up. Hit this guy. This is kind of like a shakuhachi flute. Okay, cool. Well, there it is. Um, yeah, hope this has been helpful to uh, anybody who's trying to um, get their DSS-1 um, upgraded. Um, yeah, so I'll put some of those uh, useful files in the comment section. And yeah, hope you enjoy.